Oh, look, you know, I, I was just kind of in the, those spots to do it and got the results. Sometimes it falls away, sometimes it doesn't. It seemed like tonight my number got called a lot. I was glad I was able to, to do that and help the team get the result. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, it's fun. My entire family was here tonight, so that obviously was special to kind of do that in front of them. So yeah, I mean, kind of right place, right time, and then just did what I could do to help the team. Still have the adrenaline going on. Yeah, still going on. Yeah. Uh, we've just been working hard, really hard, um, week after week to try to get the little things right. I think we've known for a while now we're close. We just weren't quite getting the results. Things weren't bouncing our way. Um, but you kind of have to make your own luck a little bit. So um, I think it's just uh, a combination of the hard work paying off. And then we tried to do something a little different tonight with our formation. And I think that sparked us a little bit. I think it helped us get on the front foot both defensively and offensively. And then we were able to put goals away, which, you know, Laura always says changes games. Um, so I think that's the biggest thing for us right now is putting goals in the back of the net. Um, and that's huge for us and hopefully we can continue that momentum. Uh, there were two plays in front of the same goal in different halves, defensively and offensively. Could you talk us through either or both of the clearance and the goal? Yes, yeah, so uh, the clearance, um, obviously you saw cops go out so your instinct is just to get towards the goal and I didn't think she was going to shoot it I thought she was going to cross it and she did well to get it on frame and then at that point it was just instincts really like can I get it off the line and thankfully I got off the line but then it still wasn't done Keelan actually did a really good job to block the next shot because the goal was still open so that was definitely a group effort so really that was just training we do that in training all the time the keeper goes out get back in the net try to see what you can do and thankfully I was able to clear it off the line um, and then the goal um, is that what you're talking about? The, yeah, um, I, was, I was a little upset that we let in that, that first goal against them and I was obviously there and I could have done more to, to get it out. Um, and so I'm always hungry when I go out for corners and Lou, put, she was putting in some fantastic balls tonight and they, they typically do, but it just kind of came right to me and I knew it was my chance to kind of put it in and make up for what we had done on the other end. And so that felt really good and it's, it's always fun to score in front of the home crowd and get to do that club. <laughs> post-match flip that you did? Was that something that you thought about at some point during the game or just writing the momentum? That's kind of my signature when I score. I haven't actually gotten to do it this year because I haven't scored. Um, but yeah, so it's called the, the Fletcher flip. Is it's been, it's been named, honestly. Um, and so yeah, uh, I like to do it, especially like to do it at home. So I was glad I could give, give the fans that because some of them have been on Twitter have been hounding me a little bit that I hadn't done it this year. Um, doing it at home. Uh, now you're going into last chance of three more points to be right there in the playoff line before the break. Um, what is the team looking to do next week in Portland to continue this? Yeah, obviously, I mean, results right now are so important. Um, and that's the good thing about the league. No one's really ran away with it this year. Obviously, some teams have been having putting good performances together. But in this league, you get two wins in a row, and all of a sudden, it changes the outlook completely. Um, so obviously we want to gain momentum, you want to go into the break on a high, it's Portland, in Portland, that's also, you know, kind of a carrot for us, um, but we've got to back up, you know, our, our result tonight, and that's what we'll look to do down there for all of those reasons, um, and really just pushing on to hopefully get a spot in the playoff, but yeah, it's nice that the, it's good, I think it's healthy for the league for it to be so close, for so many teams to, to, anybody can win on any given night, so you've got to show up and you've got to do, do the work, so hopefully we can do that.